Alright, here's a little uh, update on the refrigerator and uh, seeing how much juice this thing uses compared to the one in the house. Uh, I haven't been outside all day because I was unable to walk. So I just opened the camper up. Hundred and two, hundred and three, ninety eight. So needless to say, it's uh friggin' hot in here. Now I'm gonna open up the refrigerator real quick. It's been on overnight. Well it's been on for twenty four hours. Thirty degrees in the upper part. Last time I did this, all right, two degrees, so it works fine. We're going to go take a reading in on the meter now. All right, the camper's plugged into this uh, outlet on my lift, and here we can see it's 209. The book calls for 200 watts, and it goes between 209 and 211, so let's see what's been doing. 5.3 kilowatts in 27 hours. Interesting, isn't it? That's almost double the power usage of the, uh, I don't know if it's 18 watt, eight, uh, 18 cubic foot or 20 cubic foot, the one on the house. Funny how the LED light bulbs flickering in the background on the camera. All right, so anyway, I just wanted to show that. It's 118 cubic. 5.4 kilowatt hours. And that's about where it stays between 209 and 211 watts constantly. It never shuts off because it operates a heater, not a compressor. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So now I'm going to unplug this because I'm not using a refrigerator, it's just burning up juice. So it's pretty amazing, huh? RV refrigerator uses more power than the uh, the one in the house. Interesting. All right, we got to go over some notes. All right, this is a, a comparison with the RV refrigerator compared to the one in my house, which is you know probably 18 cubic feet. The one in the camp is four. It's uh, propane AC at 12 volts. This one's strictly AC. So that's 2.35 kilowatt hours it's used in 27 hours. Now the little camper used 5 kilowatts in about a 24 hour period, so more than twice the energy. Okay, this goes into the uh, RV comparison.